you guys have clicked on this video i'm pretty sure that you're one of those people just like me who has been scrolling through youtube trying to search for a good notes alternative app which is not as costly as good notes which is more or less equal to good notes and basically serves all the purpose that a student requires a noting app to have hi guys if you don't know me i am pujita currently a fourth year med student and just like all of you i have also been down this rabbit hole to find the perfect note taking app and you will not believe how many apps i've tried and how many apps have come across during this process and i have finally found the perfect app for you guys to use this app is so similar to good notes i'm so happy that i found this app and i have to share it with you guys this video is basically going to be the basics about this app i'm going to tell you the name of this app just in a while so i'm going to tell you all the features that this app has the app that i am talking about is noteful and without further ado let's get into the app so let's hop into my screen and i will tell you guys every basic feature this app has to offer first of all this is how the icon of the notability app looks let's click on it real quick so this takes us to the interface. As you guys can see here, I am extensively using this app. Now, if you see towards the left hand side, we have your notebooks, pinned folders, and the two tags that is planner and random. First thing that I'm going to teach you guys today is how to make a folder. So let's go to the folders tab and you guys can see there is this plus icon in the corner. So just click on that and you see there are several options that you can choose from and we're going to choose the new folder option and as you guys can see here you can choose different colors for your folder and also you can see here there are several different icons that are available and for this video i'm going to choose a pink folder we'll quickly name our uh, folder let's name it youtube and that's it you create and you have your folder here now the next step is how to create a notebook so click on the plus icon again and now we have to click on the notebook option and as you guys can see here the first thing that you see that is called a cover page so you can see there are different cover pages that are already there in the app there are different designs different colors and also you'll be able to put your own covers into the app which i will be showing in the next video we also have several different types of papers that we can choose from again same thing you can save your own papers also so it's like very useful that you create your own format i will show you guys how to do that in the next video so don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss it we have different colors to choose for our paper but i usually prefer to use the black color and I use white pen and different other colors of pens. We'll come to that. But I usually prefer using the black and the medium dot sheet for my notes. We also have different formats that we can choose from. And you can choose a portrait or landscape. That's up to you. And also it's up to you if you want a cover for your notebook or not. So let's quickly name this. Again, I'm naming it YouTube. And let's create it. So there we have a notebook. And it's very easy to zoom in and zoom out that you can do on your ipad so now moving on we have the tools feature for the sake of this video i'm going to use a blank sheet so that it's easier for me to show you guys when i use the pens the first tool that we will be talking about is the pen tool it has three different options that you can choose from we have the ballpoint fountain and the marker pen and you can also customize the different sizes for the pens I mostly prefer using 0.5 mm for my note taking and this is how each of the pens write. We also have different colors to choose from but these are colors that I have added into the app. You basically get only 5 colors when you download the app. So I'm going to teach you that in the next video. A quick tip to draw shapes is you just have to draw a shape and you have to hold the pen in place for a few seconds. The drawing will snap to a perfect shape. This again helps you to draw straight lines easily. Next up is the highlighter tool. We can customize the sizes and the colors here too. These are pastel colors that I have added into my app. You can either choose to draw wiggly lines with your highlighter or straight lines. You just have to turn on this toggle to activate it. 
This tapes tool was one of the tools that was recently added into GoodNotes. We have different colors available and different shapes of tapes that we can add. Let's see how to use the tape option by writing down a text. Let's choose a square here and we can cover the text with it. So if you want to study, you just have to click on the tape and it'll reveal the text below. That's again very helpful for active recall and you have options that will help you to easily cover or reveal all the tapes in your document. Next up is the eraser tool which has many options that we can choose from like either erase the whole line or erase highlighter only or to select previous tool, erase shapes or erase tapes which is kind of self-explanatory. When the erase whole line option is off, it helps you to erase a part of the line and when it is on, you can erase the whole line. But one of the most important option is your auto select previous tool. When we leave it on, let's say you were writing something, you made a mistake and now you want to erase it. So you don't have to reselect your pen tool again after erasing. Once you're done erasing, it will auto select your pen tool for you. And isn't that such a time saver? This is another godsend tool, honestly. It's the lasso tool that helps you to select a particular part in your notes so that you can easily move it around in your document. Here, I'm just selecting the tape along with the text and we're able to move it around and place it into the square. This helps you in rearranging your documents and resizing text and images as you wish. If you're tired of writing and you want to type your text down or if your handwriting is bad, your go-to option would be the text box. There's nothing new here except for the option that is right in the middle, which most of us tend to ignore, but it's kind of the most important part in that whole toolbar. So let's say for a particular document, you choose a certain font, size and color for your headings. Every time you choose a text box in the document, it is going to revert back to the default text that's already set. But this option helps you to set this particular text as default. So every time you want to add a heading into this document, it will add this as your default text. So you don't have to sit and change everything back again, every single time. And the part that helps you get good handwriting for this, you need to go to your settings on the iPad and under your Apple Pencil, you need to turn on the scribble toggle, which will help in converting anything that's handwritten into text. To avoid making your notes really boring, we have an image option next, which helps you to add as many images as you want into your notes so that it's easier to understand the topic as well as makes you feel like you want to study. The stickers tool kind of has the same purpose, but this is what is inbuilt into the app and I don't think most of us use these stickers. These are all the fun stickers that I have added into this app and again, I'll be teaching you how to do that in my next video, so I hope you have subscribed. Finally, these are some other options that we've got here. We have a tag option, the page option that we generally don't use because you can just scroll up and it adds a new page. That's so easy. But if you're in the middle of two pages and you want to add a page, then you can use this option. And the last one is take image. So this is again helpful. Let's say you're behind on writing down your notes. You can just take a picture of the slide and add it directly to your document to refer later. And then we have our undo and redo buttons. You can use this app for free, but there are also some benefits of getting the premium version. And I have the paid version here and it's not like good notes. Trust me. It's not rupees 2999 for just a year. It's actually way cheaper. It's just rupees 499 for a lifetime subscription that you can pay and you can get all these options just like good notes. But I would say way better. And in the next video, I'm going to show you guys all the advanced features this app offers which are very helpful in different ways for you guys to incorporate into your learning.